What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more U2. And we're going back to the Joshua Tree, 1987. Once again, shout out to all the folks following this deep dive. And I do appreciate that there's some people um, who are keen to talk more tunes. And I really do try to balance everything and get back around to this deep dive as quickly as possible. So apologies, sometimes it goes a bit longer than I know people are keen for. And I honestly don't mind the comments asking. Um, again, as long as they're polite, and I hope that when I do reply such that you know, it's going to be a few more days. I appreciate the patience. Um, I am very sympathetic to the idea that it just means people are ready to talk more U2 tracks. So, shout out to all of you. The next tune on the Joshua Tree is Running to Stand Still. It's obviously oxymoronical, contradictory, running. It's kinetic. It's about movement and particularly fast movement, whereas standing still is the opposite of that. It is stoic. It is steadfast. I wonder if we're speaking in figurative terms such that trying to make a great deal of progress but perhaps doing so in a way that is short-sighted or not fully considered could lead to stagnation or problems. Um, I feel like it's likely to have um, connotations on perhaps different levels, but either way, I'll see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is U2. The track is Running to Stand Still, and it's from the 1987 album The Joshua Tree. It's like music down in Cajun country or something. So she woke up, woke up from where she was, lying still. Thank you. 
really sweet tune. A softer one. Um, and I like the way Bono's vocals were sort of understated for a lot of it. He eventually you know, took off into the sky. But um, yeah, it was a, a slightly less epic, um, but no worse for that track. Um, and yeah, it had an intimacy to it. I feel like conceptually on a personal level, it obviously, you know, she was running to stand still. I feel like maybe the hypothetical scenario I thought about in advance is maybe backward. It might be the idea that you're engaged in a lot of effort and energy with the plan to find something that fits where you can be and, you know, um, find yourself. Now, I have no doubt uh, it's either not that entirely or even if there's any relevance there, I'm guessing it's more complicated because there were a number of lines that I heard in part but wasn't quite sure of and there were a lot of references to colors and like the black clouds and what was it, the white pearls from the sea, which is, what was it, storming or raging. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of moving parts and a lot going on thematically, which I did not catch uh, in total. So what's the plan? <laughs> she sort of like half out of the lap here. Yeah, I think, I think we are going to transition. Don't pull that off. That'll be less than savory. Uh, but yeah, um, as I said, a really interesting tune thematically, even if I don't know where all the lyrics, um, or how they all piece together. Uh, and yeah, an interesting, um, counterpoint, I suppose, to the, uh, more soaring and dramatic. I will say though, like, you know, it was soft and intimate, but the drums, they were, they're the, the backbone of the tune. They had this steady building quality and certainly in the final half or the second half or the final third, maybe, um, they took on a more robust, intense, um, level within the track. So yeah, it wasn't entirely devoid of, um, punch or energy, but, uh, overall, uh, compared to some of the tracks so far, it had a, a, a smaller feel, but again, not in a bad way, just in a, you know, let's walk down a different lane for this tune uh, sonically. Yeah, so I'll look forward to hearing people's comments. Once again, I do appreciate the patience. I will keep going through you too. Again, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, my plan is to go through the whole catalog and um, it might be a little bit down the road because I'm trying to go through music videos from some of the bands I've been deep diving on the longest. And obviously U2, it started a little bit later than some Depeche Mode, Duran, um, Eurythmics, Erasure, and so on. But at some point, I will begin going through a parallel journey of their music videos. And as I've been doing with all those reactions, um, they'll go over to Patreon first for a few days for members only. Then after a few days, they'll go public. And then maybe a day or so after that, I will try to put them on YouTube, which I say because more than my audio reactions, the video reactions have been very like 50-50, like you know, some get up, some don't, and the ratio is about half. Um, whereas audio reactions, it's, you know, one in 25 or one in 50, one in, one in 100 or something that gets blocked. And it's really only the same artist every time, like Prince always gets blocked. Um, but yeah, the point is, uh, we'll see how many of them can get up here to YouTube, but regardless, at some point, you know, a few days after I post them, they'll go public on Patreon. So again, a little bit down the road for the YouTube music videos, but they are coming. So I appreciate the patience. Uh, we'll be back with another one soon, and let me know what you think of this. Peace.